Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching my daily news roundup. Today in the Chelsea community we have a lot of news and we're going to start by this one from Mr. Mendy. Edouard Mendy touched down in Saudi as you can tell. I can't really put the video fixed because I might be copyrighted but as you can tell the big man has landed in Saudi and uh, yeah they are not ready for that it uh, it makes me feel sad to be honest with you it it just makes me realize that okay we already lost edward mendy and we haven't even bought a new goalkeeper yet i am terrified to the idea of kepa risabalaga next season in goal there's no agenda here the truth is mendy is better than kepa if we can keep things simple Kepa can play from the back, blah, blah, blah. I've never seen him play like Allison or Edison. It's just the narrative. It's, it's just a big myth. We need an imposing goalkeeper, well-rounded goalkeeper. Mendy is gone. I want to ask to sign somebody tomorrow. Mike Manyan or, you know, Diogo Costa or whatever. Just bring somebody because Kepa is going to, <laughs> it's going to bring hard attack back again. Okay, so enough with uh, Mr. Kepa, Abragadabra, and Mendy. Now, this one could impact what is happening in the Chelsea community, right? So we have to talk about it. Declan Rice to Arsenal is getting closer because Arsenal put 105 million bid hmm i thought only chelsea football club spend money they are crazy they are such and such but all of a sudden other teams are spending crazy amount of money and chelsea are not spending so it's upside down now they are going up we are going down we are going to the project youth arsenal are going to the project money and more established players to get the business done so who, who is gonna win at the end people do you think that the chelsea project is better than the arsenal project which is buying uh the people who are already you know proven in the premier league but arsenal worked very very hard for four years establish establishing a very good team youth project and now they are in the level of getting the the team to the next level so we don't know if abu dhabi manchester city are going to counter this so this could be a bidding war and this is exactly what west ham wanted and how this could impact chelsea because if arsenal got rice we have a free pass for for moises caicedo right but you never know Manchester United might jump to the Moises Caicedo deal. Manchester City can do the same, so we have to we have to close the the, the deal very very soon because otherwise we're going to be in trouble. We can't wait for <laughs> Enzo and Caicedo in that midfield. So interesting really to see if Arsenal are going to spend that kind of money. I think West Ham might counter and they might they might agree somewhere 110 that is more than Enzo's money but think about it we're gonna pay that money in six installment like six years and Arsenal are gonna pay it in like two three years who is stupid now Chelsea looks like they are geniuses right All right, my people. So let's go to our daily news roundup very quickly. And today is June the 27th, 2023. Incoming, we didn't have enough news today. You know, same old, same old Jackson to be confirmed. The, the Another striker that we don't know, you know, hidden. And then Moises Caicedo, nothing really happened. So we, we don't have to waste uh, a lot of time on this one. Let's start by Inter Milan are set 
to getting uh, Mr. Lukaku on loan for one more season plus obligation to buy for 25 million. Hmm. They they are set to bid this, but I think this they are just crazy. They they just want to get pretty much everything on free from Chelsea. Remember how tough they were when we were negotiating Lukaku deal. They were very tough. We had to spend 100 million, and after two years, they are offering 25 million. But at some point, we're gonna have to take a big L and let Lukaku go because I am sick and tired of Lukaku antics all right my people let's move on uh, that was from matlo matlo again chelsea agreed 15 million fee plus five depending on the source some people are talking about 16 million plus four but all come to the package of 20 million ruben loves to chick i'm happy for the guy and uh, I made already a few videos about him. I don't have to repeat myself. But Ruben Loftuchik is going to cook at Milan. You like it or not, he's going right to the top. So, another news concerning Milan and Chelsea. Let's listen. Talks between Chelsea and AC Milan for Pulisic. Chelsea want $21 million. Milan want to pay less than that. They are offering 15 million people. Can you believe it? Milan are trying to get pretty much everything on free. And why can't we just fight for Mike Magnan? Okay, you took Ruben Loftuchik, very cheap. Pulisic, very cheap. Let's now negotiate about Magnan. You got their goalkeeper. Everything got a price. They said Tonali was untouchable. They sold him the next morning to Newcastle United. So it's possible Chelsea need to push a little bit and try to get Manyan. But if we don't get Manyan, we can go and get Diogo Costa because I'm sick and tired of Kepa Arisa Baraga. Okay, let's continue a little bit here with uh, Manchester United. Let's read from Fabrizio. Manchester United have decided to directly contact Chelsea to make a final decision on Manson Mount this week. Chelsea still want 65 million. So they decided to sit on the table after playing mind game and saying we're not gonna pay more than that. You take it or leave it and they saw that Chelsea uh Chelsea are firm. They don't want to budge to anything. Now they are coming to the table. But I just hope that we finish this as quick as possible, man. You know, we have to finish this. If Manson Mount is going to leave, let him go enjoy his football somewhere so we can start building. So, more on Manson Mount. If Manson Mount stays, he's going to try to do his best for Chelsea. But then leave on free agent next, next summer. This is the only way for Mason Mount. No negotiation with Bayern Munich. Because there were some news saying that uh, uh, Thomas Tuchel wants him at Bayern. Not the first time, but, you know, it's just cycling, you know, recycling all the time. After a couple of days, you have the same news with new word. So, man, I'm sick and tired of the Mason Mount saga. I think it's time to let him go enjoy his football and let, let judge him after one season playing in the right system under a proper coach in the right position. The boy hasn't played in his position for more than four years. So the narrative, keep it for now. But we will see. Kai Harvard, okay? Mason Mount. Ruben loves to chick and even Declan Rice that people didn't want to see at Chelsea because of his association with Cobham. They're going to prove people wrong that social media is just narrative that has nothing to do with football. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Help your brother get minimum 1,000.
thousand likes for this video. It doesn't cost you anything. It's gonna take you one second of your life. Thank you so much for helping. God bless.